Which is more important for the sustainability of a cultural organization? Being entertaining or being educational? You're watching Know Your Own Bone, Fast Facts for Cultural Executives. I'm Colleen Dillenschneider. To tackle this question, let's start by considering the type of data that goes into developing a visitor satisfaction metric. Criteria such as entertainment value and education value aren't weighted equally because the market isn't influenced by them equally. To visitors, some criteria, such as employee courtesy, have more weight than others, such as the quality of the gift shop. With that in mind, here's a look at some of the weighted attributes that influence overall satisfaction, informed by the market and impacts research. How entertaining an experience is is by far and away the single greatest contributor to overall satisfaction. Education value influences only about 5% of overall satisfaction, whereas entertainment value influences a full 20% of overall satisfaction. So it's clear that providing an entertaining experience is more important for satisfying visitors. But education value hasn't lost the fight yet. Data suggests that being educational plays a critical role in justifying a visit to a cultural organization. Learning something new and different, seeing something new and different, and wanting a child to learn something new and different are the top three responses regarding the primary purpose of a visit after that visit is over. So entertainment value makes a visit satisfying, but education value justifies a visit. Successful organizations aim to make education entertaining. It's not a battle, but a balancing act wherein fun and learning work hand in hand to make both visitors and the organization better. And now you're in the know. Thanks so much for watching. For more information on this topic, click on the link and visit Know Your Own Bone.